Hey, what's up, guys? I haven't made a video in a minute, but one of my friends recently made one, and then he challenged me to make one as well, where I share my top 10 favorite photos from 2020. So today I'll be sharing my top 10 favorite photos, and I'll also be sharing his link to his video down below, so you guys can also check that out. And along with me sharing my favorite photos, I also want to show you guys the before edit, or like the, the raw photo, so you guys can kind of see what I did and how much I changed, or if I changed anything as drastic in general. Because even when I look at Instagram photos, I always kind of, I'm curious to see how those before photos look. And sometimes you would think it would look way crazier and you'll realize like, wait, my photos look like that. Or maybe I could edit it like this because my before photos look kind of like this too. So yes, I hope it inspires you guys in some sort of way. And let's get started. Wait, actually, before we get started, I want to challenge my friend AJH to make one of these as well. And that dude started laughing when I told him about it because he takes so many photos and I know he has so many to choose from. Unlike me, I kind of rarely shoot. And it's already 2021 and I honestly don't think I'll be shooting until maybe March, which kind of sucks, but it's just the situation we're in. And yeah, all right, let's get started. Hands down, my favorite photo from 2020 had to be the one I shot at San Diego. And I went into this one not really knowing exactly what I wanted to get. But once I got there and I saw this angle with the signs, I knew I wanted to get like as much as I can from the sign. And yeah, I'm really happy with this one because it came out very smooth. I took maybe four photos to make this Miramasa GIF. And here's the before photo so you guys can see. The highlight and the theater sign was kind of like greenish, cyan, and blue. And with my final edit, I did change them to green just because I thought it complemented the colors a lot better. Like the pink and green to me looked really good. It reminds me of Hubba Bubba Gum. And yeah, I was just super proud of this one. And I'm super hyped how it came out with the uh, ASAP song. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys can see that I put the ASAP song in the background, the LSD one. And yeah, I'm so happy with this one. And shout out to Babyface Pixel for the amazing fit she had. That fit was super dope. And I, yeah, I love this one. Okay, photo number two. This one, I deadass had to thank a lot of you guys. And, I, you, and you guys will see, I'll thank you guys again later. But what you guys did in one of the comments, in one of my videos, you guys asked me if I can do a video on how to shoot like somebody. And then when I looked, at, looked up that artist, I saw that they made film templates for a couple of their photos and I thought that was really cool. So then I made a film template and then I added the little streaks, like the little laser looking thing. Thanks to you guys, I would have never got inspired to make a template in the be to begin with. So yeah, when it came to these photos in Bombay Beach, dude, that place is kind of sketchy if you stay there too long. It got super windy, there's nobody around, it's an abandoned town. and. Yeah, it was super sketchy when we saw this lady come up to us with a big basket and we didn't know what was in the basket and apparently it was puppies. I don't know what she was doing and it was getting pitch black even though it was kind of like 7 p.m. Dude, it was so sketch. Anyways, <laughs> I got sidetracked so bad but that's what this photo reminds me of. I'm super proud of this one because of the outfit. I love the outfit so much and I wish I had the before photo to show you guys so you guys can see if I edited it a lot or not. And I don't have it. I don't know what happened. It says I lost my raw photos to these. So that kind of sucks. But I really like how I paired the Hawaiian shirt. My friend paired this for me, actually. The way he paired the actual fit was so sick. And yeah, I love the colors, the midnight blues. That's what I was really proud of. The midnight blues with the red. Yeah, this one, this one was one of my favorites. And it wasn't one of my favorites until everyone started commenting. And I was like, oh, damn, like, maybe it is that good. Sometimes... Maybe I am doubtful with my own work, but yeah, this one was definitely pretty cool. This one was, I wanna say this one could have been my number two for sure. I was super proud of this one. Uh, we went to Joshua Tree where my friend sashed these. And I was super proud of this one because this was the first template I did make like this, I think. And the, my favorite part was combining all these things I've been learning. So one was the template, two was making that orange like streak and then putting them on the right like a vertical line. And then I love the paper tear effect that I put on top. And I put the girl in the background. I mean, I put statues in the background. I got her doing a pose where she spreads her arm. So it was super perfect to put right there, to insert it right there. And I was happy. I was so happy with this edit. Uh, sometimes I feel like maybe I'm making it too orange or it looks a little weird. And I start kind of 
being hesitant while I'm editing. But at the same time, I, I knew I liked it and I was like, dude, just go all in. Like, don't, don't worry about it being too orange. If you like it, you like it. And that's kind of, kind of what I ended up going with. That orange and then teal sky. I feel like those two colors really complemented each other. So you can see from the before photo, it does look a little bit more dead. Kind of looks washed out, looks very white. So the colors did help in my opinion. I'm so happy with this one. Okay, I'm gonna put my friends on the spot. I don't know why my friends never post my collages. I think they're so sick, but yeah, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. <laughs> it's all good though, I guess. Damn, I put them straight on the spot, huh? <laughs> Snatch these nose too. I was like, dude, I thought it was so sick. All right then. The ne oh, and hold on. Let's talk about this shot because she is showing her booty a lot. And to me, I, man, props to her because there's so many people passing by and she didn't even care. Like people were honking and like when they would see her, we weren't on the road when they were honking, we are on the side, but they see us shooting and they see her. So they're like honking and staring as they're driving by. Yeah. Shout out to her for not caring. This one was my number one for a bit and it kind of moved down, but I love this edit for so many reasons. One, some like, like I know it's not realistic. Like I know it doesn't look realistic, but at the same time, I, I don't feel like it has to look realistic too much. I just thought it was such a cool thing to add to the sky to complement the colors back on the foreground. And it kind of gives it a Mars type of effect. And I actually ended up printing this one out. And what's funny, during this time, I started re-listening to an old song called Nowadays by Lil Skies. And in that video, if you guys have seen it, they have like a little world spinning around in the background when Lil Skies is rapping. And I thought that was really cool and that doesn't look real either, but that inspired me to add this. I got that idea, I was like, oh dude, you know what would be so sick is like if I do something similar what they did, but I add it to this photo. And I liked it so much that I ended up printing it. And I still haven't hung that up. There's so many things I gotta do here. I gotta put my Polaroids that I've been taking and put them up so it looks a little bit more creative in here. But yeah, here's the before photo to that one. And again, you guys can kind of see how the, um, the dirt or the sand, I mean. I added more color to that and made it a little bit more red and orange. And the sky too, I changed it down a bit. Like I kind of gave it a cool slash warmth look where it kind of looks green and cyan. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Because I don't know how you guys are taking this in, seeing my before photos. Is that pretty cool? And did you guys expect it to look like that, I guess? Because uh, I used, I always used to wonder how people's before photos look. And here's a few more photos that we ended up getting. I do like this one because it looks like she's kind of walking on the moon. Like there's some kind of gravity or some something like that, I feel like, because the way she's stepping. So I, I do like this one, and even though my shadow was was really big and casting it on her leg. Like my shadow was getting casted on her leg. Even with that, I still think it's a cool photo. <laughs> oh my God, I was so hyped on this one, on this photo, because I, I remember sending my edit to my friend and I was like, dude, I think I did it because I was struggling. Dude, sometimes I struggle and I feel so bad because I feel like I wasted the model's time. And I'm like, ah, oh. like sometimes it's stressful, it's stressful for me because not only am I spending a lot of time trying to get a cool edit sometimes, but I feel for the model too, cause it's their time as well. And um, for this one, once I got it, I was like, hell yeah. Cause it reminds me of Euphoria. The red tints I add, well, I kind of added it, I guess you can say when you see the before. And yeah, it's just a perfect pose. I think she looks really pretty from this angle and I love her hair. And the neon sign on the reflection, everything was so dope. And shout out to my friend Josh, because last time we shot here in the morning and he showed me that angle. He, was, he took it and I was like, dude, that's such a good angle. And I had forgot about reflections because sometimes I take portraits so much and I'm looking at that person that I forget to look at my surroundings and see if it's casting some kind of reflection where I can use it with my photo. And he showed me that when we went there in the morning and um, I had to come back, I had to come back because I, I knew I needed to shoot here at night when the lights go on. So that's what I ended up doing. And my before photo is pretty dark, but I knew as long as the model was well lit and I didn't have to bring up too much of the exposure up, I knew I was gonna be okay. And might as well put my histogram so you guys can um, see that as well, in case any of you guys are wondering how that looked. There's so many times where I do take photos or I do post photos and I don't think they're gonna do that good. 
and then I post it and there's a lot of good feedback. I do like these photos, but I didn't think they were the craziest thing ever. But you guys liked it a lot from the comments on Instagram. I was like, oh damn, like that's crazy. I didn't expect that. But yes, I did like the template. I just, I don't know. Like sometimes I feel every time I use a template, I use it in a way to kind of try to save myself in a way. Like where I feel like, oh man, like maybe they don't stand strong enough by themselves that I'm trying to make something out of it. But that also challenges me to be a little bit more creative. And this is where this came from. I was like, I've done so many collages. I've never put a boomerang in one. So I knew I wanted to do, do that when I uh, took this one when I made this collage. And I love the boomerang a lot. Like Taylor did so good on this one. I just knew I wanted her to walk towards me while she was doing, no, I just knew the angle I wanted to get. And I told her walk towards me and then she did this and I thought she looked, she did it so good. She killed this for me, she really did. And I've noticed some film photographers, at least some film pages that I follow on Instagram, I've seen them post photos and sometimes their models are blurred, but I kind of like how that looks. And I kind of try to get something similar to that with this photo. And I like that her hair look, and I think it's a good pose. And I do like the blurriness of this. I don't know if anybody else did, but I thought it was really cool. Like this was one of my favorites actually from this set. Besides the boomerang, this was my second favorite shot from the set. My friends, okay, Taylor knows, my friend Ann knows, who else knows, my brother knows. Like man, so many times I take so long editing. And I remember when I first edited from this set, I thought this edit looked really good. And now after I stepped away, I came back, I was like, what the heck is this? Like, this is so trash. Like, what am I doing? So I scratched the whole thing and I ended up editing again. And I'm super happy with the second edit, like way more happy with the second edit because it has those orange and teal Bahama vibes. It reminds me of like of a Bad Bunny video. I'm not trying to hype myself up, but it has some really cool beach vibes to it. I feel like the color balance on the second one I did definitely complements the outfit and scenery so much better. So far for me showing you guys these before photos, before and after photos, I guess, which one to you was the most drastic and which one stood out to you guys the most? That you didn't expect that photo to look like that in the end or something, which one just stood out to you, I guess. I would like to know. So if you guys want to comment then down below, that'd be pretty fun for me. The next shot, man, like these shots, oh my God. I like this because this is where I kind of want my style to move towards a little bit more. It's something I just really like. I like the styling on this so much. And I borrowed this jacket from my friend Castro, so shout outs to him. And something I did try to do with this edit, as you guys can see on the top, it has the mountains coming in and I inverted this mountain from a different shot from this set. And I kind of try to give it a little bit of a abstract feel to it, which is why I added it to the top a little bit of inception type vibes, I guess. And I love the pose so much. I knew I wanted to get this pose and I told her to look down a little bit, especially with the hard light hitting across her face like that. It looks so sick. In my opinion, like I know I'm hyping my own photo up, but sometimes I am pretty happy with the photos I take. So like, I don't know. I feel weird being hyped about my own photos sometimes, but I know that's a good thing because I feel like I'm getting better. Like. I'm trying to get better and I feel like I'm finally improving with my photos and I'm trying to make them a little bit more wholesome and full. I want them to be a complete set. And this one was one of the first sets, second set actually, that I felt like I did that. And the reason why I felt like I started completing my set more is because one thing I, I try to find myself doing or I tried to challenge myself to do is not just add very posy shots. Like I feel like all my photos have been posy, like, oh, pose like this or do this. It's just, I guess it's not smooth or fluid where I'm adding detail shots to kind of set the scenery. And this was one where I saw her walking and I just thought it looked cool. And I told her, hold on, hold on, do it again, walk, and I'm gonna take some photos. It looks cool to me. I get an overview, you see the outfit, you see the scenery. It's a little bit more candid and it sets a mood in a way. And also like sometimes not everything has to be the most perfect pose. I just told her to flow her, her jacket around to kind of add like another thing, like an action shot or something. So it's not completely posed, but there's some kind of movement going on. But yeah, this day was so cold. So shout out to her for being a trooper. I know we're in the desert, but it was pretty cold and windy. This ended up being one of my favorite shots from this set 
because it's another shot where I don't always get these types of shots where it's details. You can see the sleeves on her um, her arm sleeves, which I think look really good. And then I added the rope and I wish I would have done a better job of placing that rope so it fits the composition better and it doesn't get too lost underneath her boot. But yeah, I did like this photo so much and I'm super proud of this one. Like I'm so hyped off this one. Okay, my favorite thing about shooting in daylight when it's really sunny is the contrast because it allows me to play with the color so much more. At least that's what I've noticed when I'm editing in post. There's so much more like colors. The colors pop so much better in my opinion. And yeah, I, I, that's why I like this set so much. The contrast in my opinion was really sick. And I like how you can still see into the shadows a little bit. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, sunny, sunny all day for me, sunny all day. I know there's some photographers who love the cloudy, but looking at the edits, I do, I love this so much. And it makes it so much easier for me to edit. I find it so much easier to shoot and edit in daylight. Dude, Giselle. Giselle's modeling, her facial expressions, her styling, her aesthetic, everything about her. She's a badass. Like she, she's an amazing creative director. You guys should definitely check her out like on her Instagram out. She does a lot of styling for other people. So she'll like model, I mean, style her friends. She does model too. And it's just different. Like I, I love the way she does everything. And the only reason I said, oh my God, like when I started is because I remember I was actually hung over for this set. It was so terrible. I almost wanted to cancel, but I'm glad I did not And I thought I was going to have trouble, a lot of trouble with this set because it was shady as well. Like the weather, I mean the building, it was a building covering this whole, like our, our location. And here's that before photo. I, I don't know how I always do this or why I always do this, but I don't know what the heck, like what am I doing? Like I feel like maybe when I'm crouching, I take very slanted photos. I gotta be more careful about that because when you have to fix it in post, I end up cropping some of the image that I actually wanted in the photo. So that kind of sucks. So yeah, pro tip. Always try to take straight photos, which I know seems like common sense, but sometimes when we're in the zone shooting, you, this happens, which kind of sucks. Now for number 10, Alexis is badass and she looks good in so many different outfits. Like if you see her Instagram, she doesn't really shoot streetwear, but she looks good in it in my opinion. And I really like this photo because of the composition and how the lines are coming in slanted. And I like how we got the ice machine right in the background and how I added this cool, like cooling, like a, a cooling color balance where it looks kind of cold and washed out a little bit because I feel like it adds more to that coldness feel to it. Like the ice hockey with the ducks, you know, the ducks jacket she has, has that ice hockey cold, cold vibe to it. And I really like it. I was really happy with this edit. And that concludes today's video. I hope you guys actually liked it. And let me know what you guys thought down below in the comment section. And again, shout outs to my friend, Sean. I was gonna say John. Shout outs to my friend, Sean for challenging me to make this video. It was actually pretty fun. And it felt kind of good talking through my photos, I guess, because I don't think about them too much after. Well, I, I do, but I never talk about it with anybody. So this was pretty cool. One thing I do want to say is like, I want to make way more videos in the, in the future, showing some behind the scenes of how I shoot with models. Because it, when I first started, I remember I always was curious how somebody shot somebody else and how their interaction was. Like when I saw a photographer that I really liked, I always wondered how he directed or how did he get his ideas and how did he show the model what to do or little things like that. And I also wondered how the interaction was in general. Like how is it when you're shooting? Is it fun? Is it very strict? Like there's a lot of questions I've always had. So in the future, I want to make those videos happen for you guys. And I want you guys to see how like, at least for me, I consider like me and Alexis are really good friends. I, I became good friends with a lot of these models and Every time we shoot, I always feel like we're just hanging out and the environment is very loose. And I hope you guys see that because I want it to be just as fun for you guys as I find it fun. Like it feels like we're just hanging out and trying to create something sick and we're bouncing back ideas back and forth. And not everything ever goes as planned as you guys know, but we try to figure it out. And sometimes that's how we get the best photos. Sometimes. I do try to be prepared as you guys will see. Once I make those videos, and I know I haven't been making any tutorials and there are two ideas, I think. Yeah, two ideas, two of them that I've kind of started, but I can't finish them because I can't go out and shoot right now. So once I go back and get comfortable shooting um, with people just in general, I'll make, I'll finish those two tutorials up and get those done. 
yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you like this video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And much love to you guys. I hope everyone's safe out there. I know this time really, really sucks, but I hope it doesn't last much longer. <laughs> All right, guys, stay positive. I was gonna say keep shooting, but we, some of us can't really shoot right now unless you're in New Zealand. But yeah, much love to you guys and I hope to catch you guys at the next one. All right, peace.